Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a video today of more metal embossing. <laughs> um, in the video you're going to see the new tools that I ordered in order to have texture on the, the metal. Actually, it's just the copper tape with the sticky back stuff on it. So that's what I'm using in the video, and I did order the tools because I was curious as to what kind of tools um, people are using. I did try to buy, or I did look for other tools via somewhere else besides Amazon, but really it's very sketchy and kind of skimpy about where you can find these tools. So anyway, so on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. It's relatively straightforward about how to do this kind of thing. It's, it's really not hard. The later videos that I'm going to show, there's one that's coming of how I covered a whole book in the copper. And then there will be another video where I'm going to use actual metal sheets to do embossing, debossing, and that's going to be down the road a bit. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks, everyone. Okay. We're going to... Oh! Is it going to be able to grab it? Well, poo. <laughs> There's one. Let's see if we can get the other one out. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to get when I ordered these because the picture showed you what they were, but I didn't understand that it was the screws that you screw into the handle. So. that. Oh yay. Now they're going to all fall out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's put them out here on the board. So you get this and it's got a screw ends on both ends so that you can screw in the piece you want to use. They have silicone rollers for flattening stuff. Oh, this one's got ridges in it. Oh, I can't wait to get that. This has got a Teflon ball on the end of it. Here's another Teflon part with that's pointed. More Teflon pieces. This is small ridges. And this one has a beveled edge on it. So you have some that are the Teflons, and then you have the metal ones. This one looks like what do they call that? The tool where you used to, where you do your patterns with the blue paper underneath it and it rolls it on your material. I can't remember what it's called, but that's what this looks like. Then on the other end, you can screw in. This makes a flat line. It's just a wheel that's flattened on the end and it just rolls flat. Here, uh, this is a double roller like the pink ones that I showed earlier. This is a double roller. This is a faceted roller. It looks like facets cut in it to make diamonds on your piece, on your uh, metal. And this is a very small ball tip uh, stylist, very small. Then you have this, which is a wire brush where you brush it around on the metal and it makes all kinds of scratchy texture. So, for I think these were either si this, I think this was like $16.95 on Amazon. You got 12 heads, and then the tool you need to screw the heads into. When I looked at other tools for specifically for doing like one tool with one handle on um, a pewter site, the tools alone for one tool, which there was no second where to no second place to screw another head on the end, were $12.50 a piece. So this was a really good deal. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, which I did not want to, then this is a great alternative. If you're just going to play around with it every now and then, then I think this is well worth the money I spent on it. Um, as I said, it, it's, just, it's called Creative Metal by Walnut Hollow Mini Tool Set. You get 13 pieces. This is the 13th piece because there's 12 of these heads. And then it shows on the back. Um, a box and some embossing on a card and then the top of a box and um, it said there uh, the, all, all of these points 
are threaded and designed to be screwed into either end of the handle. Also can be used to decorate clay. So if you're a polymer clay person, this serves a double purpose. You can use them for polymer clay and you can use them for, um, for metal sculpting or metal embossing for distressing metal. All right, so that's the newest toy. So I will play with them and tell you how I like them. Awesome.
Okay, now that you've watched the whole video, let me show you the finished front and back. So this is the front of the book. Let me put you down a little lower. This is the front of the book. And it's very hard to see all the different embossing that I did, except for these. I mean, that's right, right in your face. Because I put and took off and put and took off so many layers of paint, um, ink, that uh, deco art embossing or antiquing cream. And it, um, it was tough on the cover, and it was also tough on the, the tape. Now, remind you, when you use the tapes, they're very thin. They're probably the same thickness as your basic aluminum foil you cover up your food with to stick it in the fridge. And the only difference is, is this stuff has stickiness on the back where you can stick it on a surface. Uh, so, oops, sorry. So this, so this is the front, and after I really put the th the front through the rigors of taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, sanding it, putting it back on, <laughs> I just couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to do. I decided I was not going to do that to the back. So the back looks to me a lot better than the front because I didn't wear it out. I don't think there's like. I don't know if you can use the expression metal fatigue. I, I'm not. Sh I don't think there's as much wear and tear on the back and, and torture. That's what I put the front through. But so you guys saw me do the butterfly. You saw me do the leaves. You saw I think a little bit of this going down the the long ways. You saw this because this was you know a big chunk that I cut down. You saw this one and this one. You did not see this. You saw some of this. So basically you saw, oh yeah, and you saw the part that go across here. So you saw the, the, the back and not necessarily the front. But it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Um, I'm still trying to learn about patinas and the uh, different kinds of expressions that people use when they do this kind of art. I've been looking on the internet for weeks at videos, and I'm, I'm about videoed out on the subject, but... I've seen expressions called, you know, embossing, which makes something stick up, debossing, which is the concave, and then I've saw I've seen repose and chasing. And repose I guess is embossing and chasing is the debossing, but repose and chasing the videos I've seen are way more detailed than just doing this. These people have like you know, blow torches and use different kinds of metal. They have hammers, ball peen hammers, uh, and all kinds of chisels and tools that I don't think I want to invest in. This was just something cute and simple, and you can use it to um, cover up books or anything you want because it's sticky. Just add a little extra glue to it if you've been mean to it, and it'll stick. All right, so that's it for this video, and there will be, I think there's either three or four more on different, different kinds of um, metal that you can use to have fun with. All right, that's it for now. See you guys later. Bye-bye.